Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the Liberation Room. My name is Hanson, and today I've got some neat news for you. One of my last videos talking about the new game coming out called Direct Contact, I sent it to the developers, and they loved it. They loved it so much, in fact, that they made me one of their content creators, so that's super exciting. This is such a great opportunity, and honestly, I can't wait to grow with this game. And speaking of the game Direct Contact, we got some new footage for you. So, let's go ahead and jump into some of the new footage from Direct Contact. Let's go. So how we're going to do this is I'm going to watch this through and pause it at parts that I find interesting and discuss them. And then I'm going to edit out some of the dead space. If you want to watch this full in its entirety, go ahead and follow my Twitch. I'll have a link down in the description. I'm going to speak with the developers and see if they would be okay with me playing this live on Twitch so we can all watch it and discuss it live. Now, as we watch this video, I want you to keep in mind that this game is pre-pre-alpha. They are still in heavy development phase. This is nowhere near its full release, so keep that in mind if you see some graphical bugs and things like that. Do be rest assured, they are working hard on making this game super clean, super polished. All right, so as you can see, we're starting out in a Norway map. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause right here, actually. As you can see on the left-hand side, we have a primary weapon, a primary sniper, and a secondary weapon. So we're gonna have the option to carry three weapons, it seems. We also have explosive device and customized menu, which I believe is what we're in now. Uh, you can see we've got hand guards, pistol grips, stock mounts, long range sights, magnifiers, close quarters, sights, barrels, aim point T2, hand guard accessories. We're going to let that keep rolling. We can also see up top where it says weight, ergonomics, recoil, muzzle velocity, fire rate, point aim speed, total ammo, and magazine size. So I have spoke with the developers and they say that, that weight is going to be a very important factor in setting up your weapon. The heavier your weapon, obviously the harder it's going to be to carry around, harder it is to get up on sight, and I believe is also going to affect your mobility with it, making you possibly slower with a heavier weapon. We can also see over on the right hand side that we have save for mission, save your preset, load your preset. So we're going to be able to make presets for these weapons so you don't have to set it up for every mission. Also along the bottom here, uh, we can see some of the different hand guards that we have as options that he's choosing right now. Um, I've also seen that we can change the color of these options as well. You can see some of the optics here with a wide range of options. Uh, from holographic, we got aim point. Um, I'm not sure if these will be brand specific when the game comes out. Um, I don't know if that's some legal tape or whatever that is, uh, but it's kind of cool to see the actual names of these things in the game. This is a feature that I absolutely love. This is um, a few games have this, but I'm glad they're using it. Uh, being able to position the optic anywhere on the rail you want. Uh, later we'll see. It's the same thing with uh, light lasers and foregrips and things like that. That bit of mobility is everything, especially if you were setting it up in real life. You, for example, if you're running nods, you need that optic a little further up, uh, different things like that. The telescoping stock, we're able to move it back and forth. So once we get everything set up the way we like it, you'll see that it's simple as pressing the close button just to get us out back to the mission, just like that. And now we're already back uh, in the world, ready to take on the mission. So, like I said, this is the Norway map. Uh, he's kind of showing off some of the uh, ready stances. Uh, we got the high ready, close, um, low ready, you know, high stock. There's all kinds of positions that they've got set up. It's good to see all those in a game, you know, because as each one has their point in place in a tactical scenario. Another thing that I like that they've done, if you heard the sound that that muzzle made when it was fired, um, they haven't made suppressors, you know, deaf silent. Ooh. Did you hear that getting shot at? Did you hear that sound? That's nuts. That is nuts. Ooh, you could hear that like, that almost like a, a little whistle. That's, that's awesome. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, they haven't made suppressors movie silent. Uh, suppressors don't work like the movies. They acknowledge that. Um, to make a suppressor work almost like the movies, you have to have a certain type of suppressor, you have to have a certain type of ammo, a certain type of weapon. Um, and when you work those, you still have the sound of the bolt sliding back and forth. So, yeah, having it like the movies is dang near impossible. So I'm glad they're addressing that and making the weapon still have some sound to it. So while he's moving around here, I want to take a look at the bottom left of the screen you should be able to see um where it shows his i'm assuming rank so i'm assuming rank will be a thing in this game like maybe a career mode like a leveling system i'm not sure 
Um, well, you can see the rank there at the bottom. You see three what looks like health bars at the top. I'm not sure if that displays the health of the player or if that's the amount of like uh, first day material they have, like tourniquets and things like that. We can also see the time of day listed below, the temperature, and level two. So I'm assuming levels and rank are coincided since it's recruit two and level two. I'm assuming that's what's happening there. So continuing to move, another small thing that I'm hearing. Oh, that sounds so good. Kind of odd that the casings make a sound as if it's falling on a hard floor when it's falling on snow. But other than that, that's a good time to bring up again. This is pre 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 alpha. So Woo. that's good. That's good. That guy's surrendering. Oh, well, he took him out anyway. Oh well. Um once again, this game is pre 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 alpha, so keep that in mind. Uh, there's going to be a lot of changes, but something I am hearing that I like to hear. If you listen to that snow, there's two points in the snow. You can hear the heel hitting and then the toe hitting and walking. There's like two like breaks in that snow. That's such a small little detail, but it just adds to the immersion, especially in a scenario like this in the snow. Good. Took out a guy. So it does give you a notification on the left-hand side that an enemy was eliminated. So we're approaching this guy here. Uh, really good like show off of the ragdoll mechanics that are brought into the game. Um, the developer, or the guy who's mainly working on um, the making of the game itself, Ed, he showed off in one of his TikToks the ragdoll mechanics of this game. He's dead. Love that. Uh, the ragdoll mechanics of this game, which are brought into a lot of games now, but still something good to have. Audio is great. Audio is great. I love it. Don't you bug him with the muscle! Can't quite tell what he was yelling there, but those shots are amazing. Frag it! So I'm gonna say something right here. The guy who's playing this right now, who's playing the game as it is right now, this is Ed. Ed is the main developer of the game. He's doing a great job, and it looks like he's under a little bit of stress right here. And that guy snuck up on him. Uh, he's very impressed with the flanking mechanic that he's brought into this game, and it does seem to be working very well. I mean, if the guy who made the game is getting flanked, that kind of shows how good the AI is doing. Obviously, there's room to improve. That's being done. Before the game gets released, that will be a little more polished. But I just wanted to show off that if the guy who made the game is a little bit stressed while playing it, that's a pretty good indicator of a good game. All right, so we got a guy surrendering here. Got eyes on him. <laughs> Ed doesn't care. Oh, did you see that in the left? Did you see that in the left? Hang on, let me back up. So he fires the shots here. Keep this up and you will be court-martialed. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that little detail. Uh, down there below the recruit two rank, we have like a looks like a health bar and endurance bar below that. Uh, and you can see it's down a little bit, so we're pretty NBKIA. low. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen here. What are we doing here? Okay, so we do seize weapons or at least secure them. So that's an interesting mechanic as well. Kind of like ready or not in that stance. All right, what do we got going on here? So we're selecting a type of air support. I like the flag in the background, so I guess that's indicating this is American air support. One bomb, confirm. I love it. I love the rangefinder here, or the laser here. Putting it on some sort of Requesting fire earlier. mission, TRP at these coordinates on the grid. Flash on route, be advised. Target is danger that's good. close. Danger close, let's go. Bring her in. Firing course, eh? Look at that. You can see that over there. That sound is great. We can hear it come in from this side and actually hear it leave this side. Not a huge deal. Um, as far as audio is concerned, that's in a lot of games, but hearing it with that kind of air support sounds great. Once again, the developer of the game is getting flanked. Meaning his AI is performing as it should. I love it. 
All right, we're bringing in some more air support. AGM have nap. One bomb confirmed. So we can drop two bombs if we want. That's an interesting idea there. Requesting fire mission TRP at my location. Solid copy. Watch the skies. Bringing it in again. That sounds coming in from, I believe, the left this time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See the sound wave come off of that? That's awesome. That is awesome, man. Great job, Ed. Great job. Hey, guys, if you're excited about this game as much as I am, then go ahead and drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos on it. Also, if you've got some questions about the game that I didn't cover here, then join the Discord so you can talk to the developers directly. Trust me, they haven't reached the point of Activision and all of them where they don't even talk to their community. Trust me, these guys are there for us. They want to answer your questions. They want you to get involved. So jump in the Discord so we can all do this together and make this the best tactical FPS out there. So guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Be safe, stay happy, peace out.